So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. So guys, Gennady Golovkin's not a happy bunny at all. I'm just going to go through some of the things that Gennady Golovkin had to say about the two Canelo decisions. Here's what Gennady Golovkin said. I think I won those two fights and there's no way I'm going to change my mind. There are people who are happy believing that the opposite happened, but I don't care. Yes, the result infuriated me a little because in those moments it was the biggest fight in the world. Golovkin then said, did it sour me a bit? Yes, to see people were able to get away with this fraud, you think really this is how it works? I know Canelo as a fighter and I have the keys of how to open him up and how to fight against him. That's what Gennady Golovkin said. So then he says, then he says, I'm not sure whether it is true, but I know Canelo as a fighter, I know how to open him up. And then he goes on to say, I'm certain that he studied me as well and that he has some things in his arsenal as well. So definitely there is an interest in the fight. It is an attractive opportunity. We know that after the second fight, we fight, we offered a rematch, but basically he went up and chased other opportunities. When this fight might happen, it, it, when this fight might happen isn't clear, only time will tell. But we all know that is going to be interesting because of our knowledge of each other, each other's opponent. Okay. So Gennady Golovkin clearly isn't happy with obviously the decisions he feels he was robbed in the sense that he even said it the decisions were a fraud. Um, he, he, you know, he's clearly not been happy since those decisions were made. He weren't happy with every, you know, he wasn't happy, um, and he clearly feels that he won the fight, and he clearly feels that he deserves another, deserves a trilogy. He also feels that at the time he was robbed in the sense it was the biggest fight in the world, and there was so much attention on it, and he felt he should have got that glory, not Canelo Alvarez. But he feels that Canelo Alvarez got the glory when it should have been him that got the glory. So Gennady Golovkin probably feels a bit bitter in that sense as well. That I feel like he got my glory, he got my he got my shine, which isn't fair in Gennady Golovkin's mind. Mind that you know he probably thinks that listen, I should have got all of that glory and he ended up getting it. Why? So Gennady Golovkin probably feels a bit bitter from that sense as well. Um, I. Look, I have said I'm not that interested in a Golovkin Canelo fight. I think it's a good fight, but I think there's I think there's other fights out there. Um for me, I actually think a Canelo Charlo fight is probably bigger than the Golovkin fight at this point. Um for me anyway. Um I don't think is Canelo Charlo a tougher fight? I'm not sure because I don't know what Golovkin's got left. So it just depends what Golovkin's got left. I don't know what Golovkin's got left. If Golovkin hasn't got much left, who knows? The, the Charlo fight might be actually the tougher fight. But if Golovkin's got something left, then the, if Golovkin is what he was, then obviously Golovkin's still going to be the tougher guy. Um, here's the thing. Like, a lot of people were saying the other day to me when Khan lost to Kel, Kel Brook, he said, look how shocked Khan was, but Khan's only 35 and Golovkin's 40 and he's still good. The difference is styles are different. Khan has a young man style. Golovkin kind of has a more different style. He more walks you down and then batters you with big punches. Power doesn't leave. The only thing with Golovkin that would slow down is his footwork. So you know how he used to close off the ring so quickly? He won't be able to do that now like he used to because your foot, footwork slows down. But still, Golovkin doesn't have a style which relies on reflexes and relies on speed and stamina. Golovkin doesn't really have that kind of style. So Golovkin can go on longer. Golovkin has a... As a as a dip like George Foreman look how long he went on for you know whereas Mike Tyson for example he was washed up quick because he relied on speed movement reflexes you know he he relied on his legs same with Amir Khan he relied on his legs to explode off those legs and throw those fast combinations do you see what I mean Golovkin doesn't rely on that he doesn't rely on his on his those type of attributes so Golovkin doesn't have a young man style his style is a style which you can go on to late where someone like Khan, Mike Tyson, Nazim Hamed, David Hay, these are the type of guys that can't go on for long. And they're, they're the type of athletes that can only go on for a certain period and then they, you're going to see a decline because they haven't... That's why a lot of these guys come early and they peak early because they have young men's style. They don't have old men's style. You see, look how Mike Tyson declined. He lost to guys like... Who, look, who he lost, look who Mike Tyson lost to towards the back end of his career. He lost to a load of nobodies at the back end of his career you know um so and the reason for that is because he had a young man's style as he got older his style 
was he was still trying to fight like he was when he was young, but he didn't have the attributes that he had when he was young. But Mike Tyson still had power, which could jail him out. But even for me, his power came from his legs. And I feel like as he got older, his legs weren't the same. He was shot. Golovkin isn't like that. Golovkin, he's just he's just a very fundamental... Golovkin's more fundamentally sound. Generally, the more fundamentally sound boxers can go on long. Guys like Nazim Hamed, David Hay Khan, they weren't very fundamentally sound. Hence why that their career got cut short. Canelo's another one who's very fundamentally sound. And you'll see Canelo go on for long. Also, Canelo lives the life. Same with Golovkin. Golovkin lives the life. So that helps as well. That helps your longevity in the sport. But I think... You've got to understand, Roy Jones was another one. Towards the back end of his career, he went, he shot to bits. He got beaten up in fights and got knocked out because Roy Jones did not have a young man's style. Roy Jones had a an old man, uh, sorry, Roy Jones had a young man's style. Roy Jones did not have an old man's style. His style did not age well as he got older. So you've got to understand that different styles are different, right? St styles. If Golovkin type of style can go on longer Canelo type of style can go on longer Bernard Hopkins, you know Mayweather These can go on longer because they were fundamentally sound They had good skills The guys that rely on athleticism Their legs, you know, reflexes Those type of styles like your Khans Nazim Hamas, David Hayes, Roy Jones Those type of styles don't age well As you get older Your styles start to diminish And Golovkin isn't in that category You know, so um, Golovkin for me um, Is still going to be a tough fight I don't think that's going to be an easy fight for Canelo But I do think Golovkin's probably lost his step And remember those fights Even when Golovkin was sharp When he fought him twice They were close right? They were close So it's not like Golovkin was dominating So the chances are Now Golovkin's lost his step Canelo's kind of getting better And more confidence he, seems, he, seems, he feels unbeatable You can only see one result you can only see Canelo Alvarez winning the fight. Now, who knows whether Golovkin will be a tougher fight. If Golovkin goes in there and gets knocked out against Canelo, then you know that Golovkin's past is best and shot to pieces because Canelo wouldn't be able to stop a prime Golovkin, irrespective of how good Canelo is. He just wouldn't be able to stop a prime Golovkin. So, uh, for me, I personally, personally think that it's not a fight that I would be that interested in, but... I feel for Golovkin. I feel Golovkin feels he was hard done by it and he, he does deserve a shot. I It's just not a fight. I would rather see the Jamal Charlo fight over Golovkin. I'd rather see Canelo fight Jamal Charlo. Like, so if he's going to fight Bivol, I don't mind that fight. And then if, then I'd rather see... Like, I'm not that interested. I'm not that interested in the Golovkin fight, but I'd watch it. You know, there are, if you were to ask me what fight would I pick for Canelo, I would rather say Benavidez or Charlo over Golovkin because I've seen the Golovkin fights. I don't think, Golo I, look, I've seen Golovkin fights. I don't think Golovkin's got any better. I think he's only gone the decline. And I think Canelo's going to be much, much better. And I, just, and I can only see Canelo winning that fight much easier this time. Whereas the, at least, even though if I think Canelo's going to beat Charlo or Benavidez, it's, at least it's something different. At least it's another style. At least it's someone else. Um, but yeah, uh, look, I think it's I think it's a great I think I think it'd be a good fight, Golovkin, and obviously Golovkin's upset. You can clearly see that Golovkin's not happy. Um, Golovkin's not happy with um, with the two decisions, which rightfully so. Listen, Golovkin was a great fighter. He deserves a lot of respect. But at the end of the at the end of the day, it's not a fight. I think a lot of the fans want to see. Um, I think the the fight that a lot of fans want to see is probably the Charlo fight. I think that a lot of people want Canelo to fight Charlo. Um, there's a lot of response. There's a lot of hype around that fight. There's a lot of people that really want that fight. So I, I really think Canelo v Charlo would be the biggest fight for me. Um, I I personally think that Canelo, if he's gonna fight, if he's gonna fight anybody, it should be Charlo. Uh, I would love to see him fight Charlo, but the Golovkin fight is definitely interesting. It's definitely interesting, but I just don't think Golov. I just don't. It's not. It doesn't excite me as much. If it got made, yeah, I'd watch it. But I don't think it doesn't excite me like it like uh, like it once did. Like once I used to, I was hoping that they made that fight. Now I'm not that interested. To be brutally honest, I'm not that interested in a in a in a Golovkin fight like I was at once upon a time. So. Yeah, um, for me, I think they should. I I, I think they sh he sh Canelo should go down the Charlo route, but I wouldn't mind the Bivol fight either. I think Bivol's a great fighter, uh, but 
Charlo is a fight. I just I just like that fight. I just like the Charlo fight. It felt like the Charlo fight was done as well. And I was really excited about it. Uh, but then it, when we heard that it's not done. So really, look, I really hope that, you know, the Charlo fight happens. I really hope he can work something out with the PBC. I don't know whether it's a money thing. I don't know why Canelo is taking so long because we heard that Canelo is is going to is gonna sign that deal or he's very close to signing those two fight deal with Matchroom. But I don't understand why. I don't understand why it's taking so long. And, and, and is it the fact that he's trying to negotiate with the PBC? Who knows? Because Canelo's done that in the past where he's... See, Canelo is in a great position because Canelo is a free agent. So Canelo can kind of negotiate and, and use these... You, you know, you use these kind of strategies to get the best deal possible because every promoter wants him on their platform and Canelo knows this. So Canelo's kind of like the talk of the town, the, the guy in demand. So everybody wants Canelo Alvarez on their particular platform. So Canelo's kind of in a great position because of that, because he knows that everybody wants him to fight on their platform. So Canelo, Canelo want, Canelo's probably going to try the best, get the best deal he can for himself, knowing that all these guys want him to fight on their platform. Do you know what I mean? So Canelo Alvarez is smart. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, and fair play to him. You know, he's, for me, the, the face of boxing. For me, the best boxer in the world. So, you know, he's just using his leverage. He's just using his leverage to get the best deal possible. And I think that's what it is. I think maybe he's looking for more. Who knows? He might be looking for a few more quid. You know, some of you say it's not about the money. Um, it's about legacy. That's what it's about for Canelo. But I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, if I'm totally honest with you. I do, I do think at this point it's about legacy and money uh, because Canelo, at the end of the day, his legacy is already secure. It's only going to enhance his legacy further. But at the end of the day, you know, he wants to make he wants to make as much money as possible in the position that he's in. So for me, I think Canelo... I think Canelo and Charlo would be massive. I, I would be really interested in that. I would be really, really interested. It didn't. It, I didn't understand when I saw PBC come back with a hundred million offer. I didn't expect Canelo to turn that down, um, but it was surprising. And the fact that he hasn't accepted Eddie Hearn's offer, and he also kind of denied that he hasn't turned it down. But Mike Coppinger and and Michael Benson, they know their stuff. So is it a case where he's looking to put information out there to get a better deal? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Only he would know what he's doing. But I definitely think that the the news would come very soon. I definitely think that he's definitely going to announce something in the in the in the future, in foreseeable future. Because we're in the end of May now. I mean, sorry, end of Feb now. So we, if he's going to fight in May, we've got March and April. So if we're coming towards the end of Feb, I'd like to think it's going to be announced soon because it will only have like eight nine weeks till the fight next week. There's only going to be nine weeks left. So there's probably about nine weeks left at the end of this week you know, before he fights. So, yeah, very strange that it's not been announced yet because surely you, you'd give the opponent at least nine people. Plus, uh, it, it, for me, it's a bit of a strange one because if he decides to go with Charlo, for example, Charlo's going to have nine weeks to prepare for it. Now, all of these guys that are in the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes, they'll all be preparing and be ready in the gym, I'm pretty sure. But I just think that... I feel like they should get a longer notice. Like, they should be known months in advance. Like, look, we've got a couple of months. I know fighters should be living in the gym or be in the gym all, around, all year round, especially the guys that are in the Canelo sweepstakes. But, you know, nine weeks isn't a very long time. It's like you've got to mentally prepare for fighting Canelo. If you, ha if you don't know you're going to fight Canelo and it just gets sprung on you like that, okay, he's picking Charlo. Even though Charlo might know he's in the reckoning, I'd still prefer if it's a couple of months in advance before they know. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll have to wait and see what, what happens. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this Canelo Golovkin situation. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.